Good afternoon learners and welcome to our trigonometry lesson. My name is Eleanor Splinter and I'm a mathematics teacher at Fairmont High School. I'm very excited to teach you this afternoon and after this lesson we must know the basic trigonometric ratios sin, cos and tan. We are going to look at special angles. We are going to look at sketches in different quadrants. We are also this afternoon going to look at reduction formulas. And after the reduction formulas and in between the sums, we are going to do, be doing the double angle formulas and the compound angle formulas. There's, there's quite a lot that I need to get through this afternoon, but I'm definitely going to give time for some questions and also an opportunity for you to work out some exercises. So without any further ado, here we go. You have the questions in front of you. It is lesson number one with the basic trigonometric um, examples. And we are going to start with example number one. If you look at example number one, I hope that you can all see it. It says that if 4 tan theta is equal to 3 and theta is in between 180 and 360, using a diagram, we have to determine firstly sin theta plus cos theta. I'm going to now go and sketch the diagram. Remember that they said 4 tan theta is equal to 3. Grade 12s, you first need to get tan theta alone. So tan theta is going to be 3 quarters. You are now ready to go and do your sketch. Tan theta is 3 quarters and I am going to draw the Cartesian plane first. That's my y axis. This is my x axis. Very, very important. Which quadrant are you working in? You can see that tan is positive. Now everybody, we know all stations to Cape Town. Tan is positive learners in the first and in the third quadrant. So your sketch can only be in the first or in the third quadrant. How do you know where? They told you that theta is between 180 and 360 degrees. 180 and 360, so it can't be there. Your sketch is definitely going to be in the third quadrant. Your sketch is going to be in the third quadrant. I want you all to draw your sketch in the third quadrant. And so long, put down the values. Tan is opposite over the adjacent side. Opposite over the adjacent side. Why did I put a negative in front of the three? And why did I put a negative in front of the four? There is no negative there. But you know as well as I do, a negative divided by a negative gives me that positive there. So it's adjacent. It's my opposite over my adjacent. And everybody, you know your hypotenuse is going to be five. This is your sketch. Just for drawing your sketch in the third quadrant, that's your first mark. And then for working out your hypotenuse gives you your second mark. You now have your sketch. You have your sketches in front of you and we can go look at our first question. Our first question is sin theta plus cos theta. As I'm working out sin theta plus cos theta, I want you to fill in the ratios of sin theta and cos theta. And maybe you can SMS me your answer for the sin theta plus cos theta. You know that sin is the opposite over the hypotenuse and cos is the adjacent over the hypotenuse. Grade 12, this is quite an easy question. I think you all know what the answer should be. And it's negative 3 over 5 plus negative 4 over 5, which gives us negative 7 over 5. A very, very simple question. Negative 7 over 5. I'm just going to go look at some questions here. I have Janae Jackson and she says, why a fraction? Why a fraction? Because remember, every ratio tan is a ratio sin is a ratio and cos is a ratio we know it's o over a hence the fraction can you please slow down they asked me a little bit okay i'll slow down just slightly i have so much content to get through but i'm going to slow down a little bit all right so everybody 
let's just see again tan is positive it is positive in the first quadrant and in the third quadrant right we all know that tan is the opposite over the adjacent side remember your angle there's your angle theta this is opposite to the angle the side closest to the angle is the adjacent side and that gives me my negative 3 over negative 4. How did I get the hypotenuse? Bunelwa wants to know and Temba. How did I get the hypotenuse? Remember your hypotenuse everybody. I'll work it out for you. Hypotenuse squared is equal to the opposite squared plus the adjacent squared. This is the theorem of Pythagoras. What is the opposite side? Negative 3. I square that. And the adjacent side is negative 4 squared. That gives you 9 plus 16, which is 25. If you want the hypotenuse, you know that you are going to take the square root of 25, which gives you 5. I hope you all understand how I got the hypotenuse. Right, and there we go. Sin theta, we said opposite over hypotenuse, negative 3 over 5. Cos is the adjacent over the hypotenuse, negative 4 over 5. Type that on your calculator and you'll see that it is negative 7 over 5. You do not need to get, to, uh, take this to a mixed number, leave it as an improper fraction, negative 7 over 5 is fine. I'm going to go to question number 1.2. Two, everybody, <coughs> I got that. Wow, did we get the hypotenuse? I worked that out. Please, learners, you have to put your um, sketch in the correct quadrant and then put your two values down on your sides. And like I said, I got quite a few questions. How did I get the hypotenuse? Remember, it is the theorem of Pythagoras.